Hi folks, this is Scott with SimpleSpider.com. Today we're going to be installing Oracle Linux 7 on Oracle's VirtualBox software. We're going to open up our VirtualBox instance and we're going to say new. We're going to choose Oracle 7 64 as our base install name. We're going to see right away that it chooses Linux as our install type and it chooses Oracle 64-bit as our version. We're going to go ahead and say next here. Uh, we can run this with a very minimal amount of memory, such as 512 that it's got listed here, but I've got plenty of memory, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to 4 gigs of memory. And I say next here. And it asks us to choose whether or not we want to create a hard drive at this time. We're going to go ahead and create a hard drive. We're going to use the standard virtual box disk image. And we're going to say dynamically allocate it so all the space isn't taken up right away. And we're going to say next here, and we're going to add 50 gigs of space here. We're going to say create. And then we're going to come down in here to our configurations, and we're going to choose settings. And we're going to go to system, and we're allowed here to choose how many processors we want to have on this system. I'm going to change this over to two processors. I'll probably be using this instance for databases or application servers or things of that nature. And I'd prefer to have a little bit more CPU, but this will run with one CPU. I'm going to go down to the storage area, and I'm going to choose to remove the DVD drive. I don't need to use that right now. And I'm going to add in the ISO image that I've already downloaded. So I've already downloaded OEL 7. And I'm going to go down to network. Uh, we've got a couple options here. I'm going to choose a bridge adapter rather than the network, and it brings up right away, it brings up my network card. I'm going to say OK here, and I'm going to go ahead and start this install. Oracle Linux 7 says to choose install, and I'm going to go ahead and choose it. Oracle Linux 7 came out uh, sometime June or July this year, it was made publicly available. We're going to notice here a couple error messages as we go through. These are known issues. Oracle has them documented, but there's no scheduled date for the update for them. And we see the simple or welcome screen that asks us which language we want to use. We're going to go ahead and say English, and that says OK. And we're going to go ahead down here, and we're going to say uh, fill out any areas that are highlighted here. Uh, it's already chosen a minimal install, which is what we want. And here we show that it says, hey, we don't know which, what the destination drive is. It's already set here for us. So we're going to go ahead and choose Done here. For some reason, my, my video software, my recording software doesn't like the mouse button here, but uh, this doesn't normally happen unless you've got the video recording software running. So I'm going to go ahead and say done here. It's already got my drive selected for me. Say done, and you can see it's it's got my drive selected now. I'm going to come down here to networking, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the network drive, and I'm going to turn it on. I'm not actually going to configure it at this time. We'll go ahead and wait till it comes back up. It's actually already selected a DHCP IP address and picked my default router. And again, I'm going to say done, and it looks like I'm going to mess with the mouse here again. All right, I haven't quite figured out how to do the tabs. The old version, I know how to do the tabs to avoid this. This one, not quite as successful with. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and say uh, begin the installation. And while it's installing, we'll see that what used to be multiple screens here, I've actually shortened up into just a couple screens. And we can go ahead and set our root password at this time. And we can create users at this time. I'm going to go ahead and set my root password. I'm, of course, going to make this a strong password. Done. 
and I'm not going to create my other users at this time. I normally script in the users that I'm going to run have use uh, UDEV random to go ahead and generate those users. We're, we see here that it's going to install the minimal install is going to install install 325 packages. Um, but basically, this is all I really need to do to get the system started and running. And this is going to be a minimal install again, like some of the other installs you've seen me do. Uh, nothing extra installed on here. We'll start like this and we'll install the packages as we need them. Uh, this is some security benefits and keeps us from having a lot of packages that we don't need and a lot of patch packages that we have to update and leaves us with less bugs to occur in our system if we only install the packages that we need. So I like this install a lot better than the old versions. There's actually 10 or 11 screens that you went through. This is a couple screens you go through and you're up and running and it's a lot faster of an install. There's a few changes if you're used to Oracle Linux 6. A couple changes that I've noticed already is that uh, I have config the standard that a lot of people have used to configure the network. Um, now uses a new format IP space ADR, ADDR, or I uses the IP commands instead of the IF config commands as they used to use. Um, there's a couple other things that I noticed in here that um, are a little bit different than we're used to using in the older versions. The, the services command, uh, I think it's changed to system CTL. Uh, I'm not sure if you could use system CTL on Linux 6, but I was used to the service command. So there's a couple commands in here. Uh, pretty straightforward once you figure out what they are, but um, things that you may run into that you're not used to having to use in Oracle Linux 6 or in Linux 6. If you're running Oracle Linux 6, if it's the state, these same steps should apply to your Red Hat and your CentOS's, which are very similar versions. Uh, I'll do a video here on uh, CentOS 7 soon, so the install it should be very similar. There are a couple other screens in here that we could have configured stuff on, where we could have configured the bootload password, and we could have configured our drive. I know from experience that the drive configuration uh, basically defaults to the configuration that I like, which is the uh, larger root space and then adding space for anything else that you use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reboot it this time, so we're ready to restart the system. And these are the couple errors that I think I've seen in the past that will pop up. They'll pop up right about here uh, when we choose the unbreakable kernel. And yeah, the AutoFS4 and the IPv6, these are both documented by Oracle as known issues in the unbreakable Linux kernel. If you're not used to Oracle Linux, there's some nice benefits about Oracle Linux. Uh, currently, you can use the uh, YUM repository as a public repository to get your updates. And here we are, we're already at the prompt. Uh, again, we didn't put it on a desktop, so we won't have a desktop. This is a minimal install, uh, but this is a good starting point. We can install the desktop, a group install of the desktop, or we can install components. Uh, we can really quickly check to make sure that our network is up. Again, IP ADDR. And we see that uh, 192, 168, 1, 124 is my network IP here. Uh, we can also do a quick check to make sure that I have uh, a YUM repository uh, available to me. And we can see here that I've got a YUM repository available, so I'll be in install all the packages, group add my desktop if I choose the desktop, and I'll be installed all the packages and I'll be able to run my YUM update. All right, I'm going to stop here and go ahead and watch my uh, host install videos or my install my other videos on how to install products if you're looking for certain products such as the database, version control, DHCP servers, DNS servers, or application servers, even Oracle application servers. So I have some other videos out there. Uh, again, this is Scott from Simple Spider. Uh, thanks for watching.